Hallelujah watu wa Mungu. Hallelujah people of God. Nimeona niongee na dunia. I want to talk with the world kuhusiana na ugonjwa wa corona about the corona disease. Eh tunahitaji kufahamu kabla tujaendelea mbele sana. We need to know before we proceed far away. Uh, corona ni mfalme au ni, ni ugonjwa? Corona is a disease or a king. Kwa namna ambavyo corona inakwenda lazima ya majibu yapatikane. The way corona goes on we must have the answers. Bila majibu without answers tutajikuta tunakufa kifo cha kibwetere wa Uganda. We will find that we die just like kibwetere of Uganda. Sasa naomba tuzingatie yafuatayo. We must be concerned with the following things. Ili tujue corona ni ugonjwa au ni mfalme. Uh, for to know that corona is a disease or a king. Kama corona ni ugonjwa. If corona is a disease, na tuamini ni ugonjwa. We must believe is a disease. Kwa sababu ndivyo inavyoendelea na ndivyo unavyoonekana because it how it is seen and how it is goes on na tuhitaji kuvunja moyo wa taalam ni kweli atuhitaji kuvunja moyo wa taalam it is true that we don't need to discourage the experts lakini lazima tujiulize maswali haya but we must ask ourselves these questions na tuyapatie majibu sawa sawa and we must have the right answers bila kufanya siasa without the politics Tunahitaji kutafuta namna ambayo kweli kabisa itatutoa hapa. We need the way that will ride us out of this problem. Sasa ka, kwa kuwa corona ni ugonjwa. Uh, because corona is a disease, swali ni je? The question is how ni zaidi ya magonjwa aliyowahi kuwepo? It's more than the other diseases we had au ni zaidi ya magonjwa ya mlipuko yaliyowahi kutokea or is more than the other diseases that which erupted before kama ni ugonjwa if it is a disease mas suruhisho la huko nyuma liliwahi kuwa nini the uh, solution the solution we used before how it was ilikuwa ni hii kweli ya kufungiana ndani it was this of breakdown na nafasi ya nyumba za ibada kwa magonjwa zimeishia magonjwa yapi and uh, the point of using church as a solution where it's end kama tunakubaliana corona ni ugonjwa If we agree that corona is a disease tunaamini kuambia watu wakienda kanisani watambukizwa kweli tunaamini kazi ya kanisa if we will we, we, we not let people to go to the church because of disease where is the position of the church nadhani hapo i think there wataalamu kokote muliko the expert anywhere you are mujue kwamba kiwango mnachoridharau kanisa you must know that the way you let the church nothing hata baada ya corona even after corona kanisa harina nafasi duniani the church has got nothing to the world kwa sababu because magonjwa yalipotokea the disease when erupted ya mlipuko kama corona eruption disease like corona suruhisho la kweli the solution uh, the right solution ilikuwa ni kanisa it was a change ni kweli kinachowachanganya it is true that makes you uh, ra- go out of your mind ni kila mnapoona msalaba when you see the cross Unajua ni kanisa. You think is a church. Kumbe kanisa 
Oh, the church ni mahali ambapo it's where hata kabla mulipuko even before eruption of disease bado panakuwa na majibu ya magonjwa mengi still there is the answers of a lot of diseases sio yale ya kupaka mafuta not that of anointed oils sio yale ya kunywesha maji not what uh, the church of drinking waters wale hata wakipona those even if they have been cured uwa haichukui muda mrefu matatizo kurudi makubwa kuliko yale talks no long time the disease to be back lakini suluhisho la kudumu la kutoa matatizo kwenye maisha mtu the right solution to get out of problem to the love of a person ni mtu kutoa dhambi ndani yake is a person to get out of sin sasa turudi kusoma kwenye biblia let's go back to the scriptures na ili tujue uh, to know tutaendelea kuamini Biblia wa Kristo endelee kuitumia we must believe that the Christians must use the Bible au baada ya corona Biblia sasa haifai kabisa or after corona the Bible does not need it Hebrewia 10 mstari wa 25 the Hebrew chapter 10 verse 15 hapo tuisome let's we read kwa pamoja together Nitasoma kwa Kiswahili. I will read you I will read in Swahili. Na nitamruhusu mtume wa Bwana asome kwa Kiingereza. And I will allow a person interpret to read in English. Msari wa 25 na nasoma yote alafu ataisoma na yeye yote. Okay. Inasema wala tusiache kukusanyika pamoja kama ilivyo desturi ya wengine bali tuonyane na kuzidi kufanya hivyo kwa kadri mwanavyo siku ile kuwa ina Bia. I read. Yes. Not in neglecting to meet together as it is the habit of some but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Sasa kwa hapo uh, for that kama tunayamini Biblia if we believe in a Bible imesema tusiache kukusanyika. It is said we not uh, we must not let not gather him anaposema tusiache when he say we must not anajua kuna mambo yatakuwa yakitokea ya hatari he know that there is dangerous things will happen lakini tusiache but we must not let together tutafute suruhisho we must find a solution tukiwa hatujaacha while we have not left together him kwa nini tusiache Why we must not Kanisa lilikuwa na kazi gani kabla What did the duty of the church before Tusome sasa Let's we read Ufalme wa kwanza uh, the book of kings sula ya nane uh, the chapter 8 Mstari wa 29 hadi 30 uh, verse 28 to 30 Na tutalukia mstari wa 37 hadi 38 and we go to a verse 27 to 37 eh na wafalme na 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 sura ya tisa and chapter 8 na na tutasoma hayo we are going to read there nisome hiyo sura ya 8 mstari wa 29 nasema macho yako yafumbuke na kuelekea nyumba hii usiku na mchana mahali hapo ulipopataja ukasema hapa ndipo litakapokuwapo jina langu ili usikie maombi ya mtumwa wako au mbapo akikabili mahali hapa usikie dua ya mtumwa wako na ya watu wako Israeli watakapoomba wakikabili mahali hapa na msikie huko mbinguni makao yako nawe usikia hapo samee yeah. uh, that thy eyes may be open night and day toward this house the place of which thou hast said my name shall be there that thou mayst hearken to the prayer and hearken to the supplication of their servant of Thy people Israel when they pray toward this place here here though in heaven 
thy dwelling press, and when thou hast forgive. Sasa hapo bibiri anasema. So there the Bible says, watu waeleke kwenye jengo la ibada. People have to go to the halls of prayers. Waombe. They have to pray there. Alafu humo ndo hawatakiwi. And there they are not needed with these people. Wanaambiwa wahubiriane wa, 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 wa na waombe majumbani kwao au waubiriane kwenye mitandao. They say they have to pray to their houses and in the internet. Ebi Biblia iliposema tukusanyike. When the Bible say we have together. Haikujua internet is the web. They he did it it did it know that there will be an internet. Ebi kweli Biblia inapitwa na wakati. To say that there is a time a Bible is outdated. Kiasi kwamba sasa kwa kuwa internet zipo to the point that because we have internet sasa watu ubiriane kwenye mitandao so people had to preach in the internet basi hata baada ya corona zibaki internet so even after corona we must have only internet lakini tufahamu but we must know yaliyoshindikana kwa wanadamu oh those problem that are uh, fail to be solved with people kwa Mungu yanawezekana to god it is possible ila lazima tuwe na adabu we must have obedience bila ya hivyo without that mungu akiadhibu god will punish jitiada zetu all our efforts zitatumaliza zaidi oh will die all of us kuna haja kurudi jumla there is effort to go back kwamba mungu that god tunarudi kwenye eneo we are going back to the position ambalo ulitakiwa tukae hapo where you needed us to be sasa nisome msalo wa 37 let me read chapter uh, verse 37 na 38 and 38 sema ikiwa nchi mengi ya njaa au tauni au ukosefu wa mvua au ukungu au nzige au panzi ikiwa adui wamewahusuru katika nchi ya miji yao au kiwapo msiba wote au wele wote maombi yoyote au dua yoyote ikifanywa na mtu awae yoyote au na watu wako inzai wote pamoja watakao jua kila mtu maradhi ya moyo wake na kuikunjua mikono yake kuielekea nyumba hii kuielekea nyumba hii soma mtu wangu if there is a famine in the land if there is a pestilence or blight or middle or locust or caterpillar if there is any are uh, basis then in any of their cities wherever plague you whatever sickness there is whatever prayer whatever supplication is made by any man or by all people israel each knowing the Afri- Afri- affliction of his own heart and stretching out his hands toward this house kwa mahali pa kuombea the place to the place to pray sio nyumbani kwa mtu it's not a home of a person ni nyumbani kwa Mungu it is a home of god kuna, kuna lugha za kitala there is a a language of experts zinasema it says mtu akionekana ni kama na mafua au kikohozi au malaria when a person seen with a cough flu or malaria asikaribie mahari watu wanapofanya ibada must be away with the horse of praise sasa unajiuliza we question ourselves kazi ya kanisa ni nini what is the role of a church kwa sababu mimi na, na hisi kama kanisa litakuwa lita linaheshimiwa kweli because i think if we have the church sio kisiasa not politically liwe linaheshimiwa kweli must be honored true tunaweza tukasema hivi we must say this one kama mtu ana corona if a person has corona 
aende kwenye kanisa lilo tayari kumpokea he has to go to the church which is led to welcome him. Tungeweka uhuru wa uwezo wa kanisa husika. We have to give a right of the church to decide. Kwa sababu hata corona yenyewe inaua because corona itself it kills. Hata kama watu hawaendi huko makanisani even if people did not go to church bado yenyewe peke yake majumbani kule kuli inaua. Even at home the corona kills. Kwa hiyo ni, ni bora kuwa kuwa radhi kuruhusu walio tayari kufa. We have to agree ourselves to give those who are allowed to die. Kama muhubiri yuko tayari kufa. If a preacher is allowed to die, ruhusuni afe. Let him die. Ili for mtafute ufumbuzi kila unakoweza kupatikana to find the answer where it can be found. Kwa sababu katika hali yoyote tukifungiana ndani kufa tutakufa sana because in any way if we lock down in the houses we will die tutakufa kwa magonjwa mengine we will die with other diseases tutakufa kwa njaa we will die with hunger tutakufa kwa msongo wa mawazo we will die with the frustration kote kufa tutakufa sana anywhere we will die so much kwa hiyo maeneo mengine ambayo mhubiri anaweza kawa tayari so if there is a place a preacher is a lady basi karantini pawa hapo hapo kanisani kweli wasitoke hapo the quarantine must be to the church itself and they must not get out kama ni kufa wafe hapo if to die they must die there mimi na mimi i believe muhubiri and a preacher ambaye ana ana anahubiri ku watu kuacha dhambi who preach people to let out of the sin na kweli hata wanapoishi mitaani hawatendi dhambi and they live without a sin na wana muda mwingi wa kuomba and they have a lot of prayers corona haikai hapo the corona will not be there haiwezi kukaa hapo it cannot be there vyo vyo terivyo in any way corona si zaidi ya magonjwa yaliyokulipuka corona is not more than the other erupted diseases hata kisukari ni ugonjwa ambao ulilipuka even a sugar disease is a disease like other diseases ukimwi ni ugonjwa uliowahi kulipuka HIV is like other diseases uh, shinikizo la damu ni ugonjwa uliowahi kulipuka blood pressure is a lot of diseases lakini hivyo vyote but all those diseases kwa muhubiri kabisa anayejitambua to a preacher who is uh, knowing himself to God na watu wanaoenda hapo wakafuata mashari takata atakayoweka and all who uh, worship there follow the rules of god hasa kuacha dhambi kanisani na mitaani to let out of a sin in the church and out of the church na kuvaa sio kwa kikahaba kahaba and to wear in a very decent way corona ni kitu kidogo corona is a very small thing lakini naendelea kujiuliza corona ni ugonjwa au ni mfalme? But I'm still questioning myself. Corona is a disease or a king? Hapa tuko bado tunajadili kama ni ugonjwa. Here we still discussing if it is a disease. Kanisa lina nafasi gani? What is the law of a church? Sasa sura tisa mstari wa 3. Ah uh, chapter 9 wa verse 3 wa falme uh, to the kings Nisome sasa. Let me read. Bwana akamwambia, nimeasikia maombi yako na dua yako ulizotoa mbele zangu. Mm. Nimeitakasa nyumba hii ulioijenga ili niweke jina langu humo mm. milele. Mm. Tena macho yangu mm. na moyo wangu utakuwapo hapo siku zote. Mm. Okay? Okay, let me read uh, verse 3 chapter 9. Mm. And the Lord said to him I have heard your prayer and your supplication which you have made before before me I have concentrated this house which you have built and put my name here forever my eyes and my heart will be there for all time sasa Mungu anasema jicho lake litakuepo mahali pa ibada. 
And God says his eyes will be to the halls of prayer. Sio kwenye mitandao. Not in the internet. Sio nyumbani kwa mtu. Not to the home of a person. Haya, niende sasa. Corona kama sio ugonjwa. Let me go there. If corona is not a disease, tu, tuone ni, ni mfalme. Let's see. Is a king? Kwa sababu masharti yake because its laws yanaonekana ni kama ni mfalme. It seems like a king. Amekuja kwa namna ya ugonjwa. He came like a disease. Kwa nini vyote vinampisha? Why all the things give him away? Kwa nini vyote vinampisha? Why all the things give corona away? Kweli mpira kumpisha ni sawa. It is true that to let it pass, it's true. Ni kweli watu kuzurura mitaani kumpisha ni sawa. It's true that to let it pass in the street is right. Ni kweli mashule kufungwa ni sawa. It is true that to close a school is right. Ni kweli watu kunawa ilikuwa safi ni sawa. It is true that to wash hands is right. Anakokuda kuonekana corona ni kama ni mfalme. It, where it seems like corona is a king. Anataka mpaka kanisani tumpishe. He need in the church to let him pass. Tusome Mathayo 24. Let we read Matthew chapter 4. Mstari wa 15. Verse 15. Mathayo sula ya 24. Matthew chapter 15 24 Mathayo 24 uh, Matthew 24 mstari wa 15 uh, verse 15 Biblia inasema The Bible says basi hapo mtakapoliona chukizo la uharibifu lile lilionenwa na nabii Daniel limesimama patakatifu asomaye Nafahamu. Okay. So when you see the diso, uh, desolating sacred spoken of by the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place let the reader understand Sasa kinachoanza kutia shaka what let us to worry kuona huyu anaweza kawa ni mfalme sio ugonjwa it can be a king and not a disease anakuwa huru sana huru sana he is so free so free kwamba pisheni kansa tokeni that leave out of the church nataka kukaa mimi i want to be here in the church mkichangamana na mimi na waharibu if you mix with me i will destroy you wakati huu right now kanisa kokote muliko the church anywhere you are sisi Tanzania here in Tanzania tunamshukuru Mungu we thank God tuna rais we have the president mwenye roho ya Mungu ah uh, with the heart of God mwenye anayetamani atende mapenzi ya Mungu. He needs to do the rights of God. Tunajua yuko kwenye hatari kubwa kwa wenye dunia. We know he is in a very dangerous time to the world. Anachukuliwa vibaya sana. He is taken so bad with people. Na tunajua baada hapo anaanza kuanza kuwekewa vikwazo hapo hapa na pale. And we know he will be sanctioned with international peoples. Lakini kwenye nchi zingine But in other countries kama kuna mtu na juu umeokoka kweli if you know that you serve God in the right way acha wachungaji wa mshahara leave the pastors of payments kwa sababu kama wasinge kuwa wa mshahara if they would not be the pastors of cash tungesikia wengi wamefungwa jela we, we would be heard that they have been jailed kwa sababu wameendelea kuabudu because they kept on worshiping kwa sababu hakuna cha kusimamisha kuabudu because there is nothing to stop people worshiping lakini kwa kuwa ni wa mshahara 
because they are after pay pamoja na ukubwa wa majina walionao uh, even of uh, because of the big names they had wamempisha mfalme corona they give corona away ili afanye anachokitaka to do whatever needs atawaruhusu atakapotaka he will give them a worship when he need hana muda marum he don't have a specific time lakini nasema kama corona ni ugonjwa but i'm saying you for corona is a disease kama sio mfalme if it's not a king vyote vizuiwe all the things should be sanctioned kanisa lisizuiwe a church must not be broke down ibada zisizuiwe a uh, worshiping must goes on kuzuia ibada to stop worshiping ni kum, ni, ni mfalme is to raise up corona king ni kutangaza corona ni mfalme is to announce that corona is a king sasa nisome danieli let me read now a book of daniel sula ya sita uh, chapter 6 na nadhani nitamalizia hapo. And I will end there. Eh Daniel sura ya sita. Mstari Daniel sura ya sita, mstari wa nne. Biblia inasema, basi mawaziri na maamiri wakatafuta sana kupata sababu ya kumshtaki Daniel kwa sababu ya mambo ya ufalme lakini hawakuweza kuona sababu wala kosa kwa maana alikuwa mwaminifu wala halikuonekana kosa wala hatia ndani yake ndipo wale watu wakasema hatutapata sababu ya kumshtaki Danieli huyo tusipopata katika mambo ya sheria ya Mungu wake basi wale mawaziri na maamiri wakakusanyika pamoja mbele ya mfalme wakamwambia hivi mfalme Dario uishi milele saba Mawaziri wote wa mfalme na manaibu na mamiri na madiwani na maliwali wamefanya shauri pamoja ili kuweka amri ya kifalme na kupiga marufuku kwamba mtu yeyote atakayeomba dua kwa Mungu yeyote au kwa mtu awaye yeyote katika muda wa siku 30 ila kwako e mfalme atatupwa katika tundu la simba Danieli 6:4 hadi wa 7 I'm going to read. Yeah. Then the president and the, the sustrafs sought to find a ground for compliance against Daniel with regard to the kingdom, but they could find no ground for compliance or any fault because he was faithful and no error or fault was found in him. Then this man said we shall find any ground for complaint against this daniel unless we found it in connection with the law of his god mm-hmm. then these presidents and uh, uh sustrafs came by agreement to the king and said to him mm-hmm. o oh, king darius mm-hmm. live forever mm-hmm. prefects and uh, the sustrafs mm-hmm. the consulars mm. and the governors mm. and are uh, agreed that the enforce and the interdict that whoever makes peti- petition to any god or man for 30 days accept to you o king shall be cast into the den of lions sasa u- Wana hizi njama zinavyotengenezwa. Now let's see these efforts. Wazinaweza kuja kwa njia yoyote. They may come in any ways. Ukirudi Danieli 2, if you go back to Daniel chapter 2, unaona ni mfalme akatengeneza sanamu. You see a uh, a king man and ornament ili tu ajifurahishe. To make himself feel happy anataka tu watu wasijudie ili wajifurahishe. He need people to worship it to, to feel himself happy. Na kawaida wa taram uh, in any way the experts halaka sana wanakwenda kumunga mkono. They go to agree with him ili mambo yawe kama anavyotaka. So all the things to go on as a king need. Hapa here sio mfalme anataka it's not a king who needs 
na hii naongea na watawala wote dunia and these i'm talking with all rulers of the world maraisi wote dunia the presidents of all over the world najua wengi wenu kuamua kufunga makanisa si mapenzi ya mioyo yenu to clog the checks is not the something comes from your heart lakini mumelazimishwa na watara but you have been enforced with your experts na najua hili pia hata rais makufuri alimweki salama and i know this even president magufuli don't give him a, a clear uh, point kwa sababu hata alipoongea kwamba makanisa hayatafungwa even when it has been said that the churches will not be closed hiyo lugha yake ilikuwa ni vigumu sana kuona wana wa, wateule wake ama watu walio chini yake na wenyewe wakitangaza kwa nguvu it was not easy to see the appointment of him agree with him and go, uh, be back of him na sijui kuna kripo ambayo nilirusha kwamba walisikiliza au ni Mungu mwenyewe kaweka uzito huko kwenye mioyo yao I don't know if it is my clip or God gave them something uh, to do the thing baada hapo ndo nikaona wengi wao wanaanza kusema jamani tumwamini Mungu tumtegemee Mungu ni Mungu aliyetufikisha mpaka hapa After that it's when they started saying let be Uh, believing in God because God who is who protected us until this time najua maraisi wengi i know many presidents si mapenzi yenu kufunga makanisa it's not their hearts that decided to close the churches lakini wataalam but the experts mawaziri the ministers eh wa, 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 wateule wenu the appointed wanalazimisha they force ufanye haya to do those things nataka mfahamu i want you to know huko there ni kufanya corona kuwa mfalme is to make a corona a king si ugonjwa it's not a disease kama corona ni ugonjwa if corona is a disease suluhisho lake the solution is baki kwa wataalamu peke yake must not be only to the expert kila njia inaweza kulitatua any way or means that can be used ilitatue hata kama itaingiza hasara must be used if even if it will lead to a loss ni kweli makanisa yakiruhusiwa is to that when the churches will be allowed makanisa ya wahuni wahuni the churches which, which not goes in the right way hayo ndo yanaweza kasema kweli wagonjwa waje will say that let the, uh, the, the, the patients come in na kweli wanaweza wakafa sana and they will die so much na mkaanza kusema unaona sasa and you will say you see right now okay hata nyumbani wanakufa so you must know that even at home they die kutafuta suruhisho kupoteza watu wengi lakini mkapata suruhisho la kudumu to let people pass away but you get uh, the right solution uko nako ni kupona that also is a means to solve a problem na wale si wamejitakia and those people they needed themselves kwa hiyo tufike mara adabu pia iwepo kuhusu Mungu we must reach to the point that we obey to God na maliza tena kwa swali hii i am ending by asking this question na utakapokuwa endelea kushughulika na corona and when you will be proceeding concerning corona wewe unajua unashughulika na ugonjwa au na mfalme you must know whether you are dealing with a king or a disease kama ni ugonjwa if it's a disease njia ya kanisa ndo bora zaidi The means of using church is better than others. Kutatua ugonjwa wote wa mtu. To solve an erupted disease. Kama ni mfalme, if as a king, basi kanisa tujiandae kwa wakati mgumu zaidi. Church we must be prepared for the hard time. Ila pigeni kelele sana. But you must raise your voices. Kufeni wakati mnapiga kelele. Die while you are allowed kafieni kwenye nyumba za ibada you have to die in a house of prayer ama wakamata wakaweke jela or to cut you and jail you nasikitika kusema i'm not getting myself to say 
mpaka hapa up to this time imeshaonyesha it shows asilimia kubwa ya nchi ambazo makanisa yamefungwa uh, a lot of countries which uh, churches has been closed makanisa ni ya wachungaji wa mshahara is a churches of a pastors who are after pay kwa sababu itakiwa mpige kelele kiasi cha wengi mungerundi kwa jela pastors you had to loud your voices until you have been jailed because of worshiping lakini kwa sasa but now amka welcome ongeeni kwenye nchi zenu keep on aloud lakini watawala but the rulers sikilizeni maneno haya listen this words kwa usalama wenu for your security na kwa usalama wa watu wenu and the security of your people ongela congratulations kwa kunisikiliza for listening amen amen tuna naibu speaker hili jambo la corona viongozi ni vyema tukawa na kauli moja tusifanyie siasa kabisa kwenye jambo hili Tuendeni tufanye siasa kwenye mambo yaliyoko kwenye ilani. Hili jambo tuongee lugha moja. Niwapongeze sana viongozi wa kidini wametuzidi na siasa. Wanaongelea jambo hili kwa umakini mkubwa. Jambo la kwanza na lugha ya kwanza ambayo inatakiwa itoke kwa viongozi ni kuwahamasisha watanzania kila mmoja, yeye mwenyewe, awe mtu wa kwanza kubadili tabia. 